Well, good morning, everyone. My name's uh, Ryan Fraser. Um, I'm from Arnett over in uh, Australia. Um, my apologies, I couldn't make it out uh, to uh, Globus World uh, this year. Unfortunately, I'm in Western Australia and uh, we only just recently opened our uh, borders. Uh, so it was a little bit difficult to get out, out of the country. But uh, look, I very much appreciate the opportunity to come and present to you today. And a big thanks there to Bass for inviting me along. Uh, as I noted, look, I'm from a, an organisation called Arnet. Arnett's uh, based in Australia and we're the Australian uh, National Research Education Network and we're owned by the Australian Universities and the Commonwealth Scientific Industrial Research Organisation and our primary purpose is to provide high bandwidth fibre network which we own and operate to over 150 institutes across Australia and our primary purpose is to support the research and education sector and here's a sort of a bit of a mud map of all of our, our member universities we pretty much cover and support all of the, uh, uh, the universities in Australia. We also breach, uh, um, uh, go beyond just the university sector and we support uh, um, um, public and private uh, research institutes, uh, schools, K-12s um, and TAFEs, which are sort of our vocational sort of training uh, institutes, health and cultural and government organisations. And we have an extensive fibre network that traverses across the whole of the Australian continent, which you know spans you know, thousands of kilometres across uh, from Perth over into uh, to Sydney. Um, and from Darwin down to Hobart there. Uh, and beyond that, we also then um, have collaborations more broadly with the international scene and engagements there with all the other large NRENs across in the international uh, scene, scene there. So we're, despite being one of the, I suppose, the most uh, uh, remote countries on the, on the planet, um, we are well connected globally from a network perspective. And this is all good and well. And so we have a really excellent sort of fiber network based on 100 gigabit to 400 gigabit connections. We have a whole bunch of redundancy and traversity and things of that nature. But unfortunately, we're still having issues with people being able to move data in Australia. So Arnett's vision for Australia is a, of a globally networked data sharing ecosystem. Um, this is our primary vision and we, and we, we believe this, work, this vision is well supported by the functionality of Globus. And our partnership with Globus makes sense. So what this presentation is primarily around is a bit of the journey that Australia has gone through with establishing Globus within Australia. Um, we've been a player with Globus for quite some time. Um, we've you know, been, had Globus on the scene in various sort of forms back dating in the early 2000s, if not before. Um, but at this point in time, what we're looking towards is to roll it out um, across, across the country to all, of our large, uh, to all of our large infrastructure facilities and going beyond that. So some of the key drivers for Globus in Australia, well, everyone would have seen these sort of things. So despite having a, a world leading network in Australia and cutting IT, IT uh, systems, unfortunately our data transfers are still failing. Um, we still have researchers, as you can see down the bottom there, that's actually an actual picture from uh, the Walter and Eliza um, uh, Institute in, uh, sorry, the Perkins Institute over in, uh, in Australia, where they're actually moving uh, hard drives from one building to another across across a walkway because uh, there's no other way to, to move the data any quicker at this point in time. So unfortunately, even though we had this network, um, researchers are still moving data in various different ways. And of course, the career industry is still making dollars in Australia off moving data. Now, look, we want to combat this. We've invested significantly in a research network and we want to ensure our researchers are leveraging it um, to the best of its ability. We want to ensure that we're connecting Australia's peak and high-end facilities um, and we're co connecting Australia's data collections that we've got not only for um, consumption and use, utilisation within Australia but then also for utilisation globally. We want to connect Australians to the world. Um, you know, Globes has got an uh, extensive array of endpoints across, uh, across the globe and we want to be a part of that and linked, linked out to that as well. We want to ensure flexible and standardised ways for people to connect to um, infrastructure across across uh, our nation as well. So the Arnett and Globus journey. Look, as I said, look, Globus has been a part of Australia for quite some time. Um, we've had it in various different forms, originally starting out as sort of in a grid computing capacity and now more towards the data transfer sort of mechanism. Um, so on behalf of the Arnett, um, behalf, sorry, on behalf of the uh, research and education sector in Australia, Arnett and Globus have been working together to establish a whole of Australia research and education subscription for Globus. 
Our intention is on it being sort of a, a conduit through to the various different research institutes. We'll work with the institutes to deploy Globus and establish endpoints at, at, at these institutes so that we have this array across, across our nation. Importantly, I'm very pleased to say that we've basically run, run a pilot of this over the last 12 months. Uh, it's been highly successful. We've had 12 institutes um, uh, deploy and deploy multiple inputs across their institutes. And we have at least another half a dozen to a dozen that are um, in the process of deploying as well. Um, so it's been a successful pilot. And what we'll be doing now is moving our Globus subscription and approach towards a production capacity in Australia and advocating for a further broader uptake across the nation. As you can see here, these are the, some of the key institutes that are deployed. We have CSIRO that are uh, deploying across multiple um, facilities that they, they own and operate across Australia. We have Swinburne, uh, the National Computational Infrastructure at ANU, uh, University of Queensland, a large in entity that's uh, interested in, uh, that are in the process of deploying, University of New South Wales, University of Wollongong, and the Walter and Liza Institute. Beyond that, we also then have a bunch of other institutes that are, are in the process of deploying. Um, we hope to get them on board within the next six months. So some of the interesting use cases from Australia that are sort of driving the charge for the uptake of Globus. Um, I'll go through some of those right now, but ultimately what we've got here is we've got some extensive requirements there from the University of Queensland. Um, they, they do a lot of work on um, magnetic re resonant imagery, um, and they're doing a, a global collaboration machine, uh, machine learning on those images, images. And you can see here a quote from uh, the researcher, ultimately prior to the utilization of Globus, they were either shipping hard drives or struggling with um, moving data via iClone. Um, and so University of Queensland and Arnett, along with the Queensland Computational Infrastructure Facility uh, have deployed Globus and that's been um, really, really helpful for these researchers to move their data across uh, within the university sort of fabric, but then also broadly out to uh, some of the high performance computing facilities we have in Queensland and over at uh, the Australian National University, um, there's another super computing facility there. Um, for these, this group here to be, to do their machine learning on magnetic re resonance images uh, and 3D sort of visualizations of that. Um, large data, lots of processing, uh, and they need a, a good data movement tool to move that data around to not only for their researchers, but then more globally. Interestingly, University of Queensland has seen that Globus is a key facet to their data movement and have, um, uh, have already sort of coded that into their data fabric, which is called Medici. Um, and they're also looking towards a broader support through um, their Queensland Computational Infrastructure Facility, which is the state-based high-performance computing facility. So that's been a really interesting success story and uh, a large update there from one of our Queensland universities. We step over into another um, uh, another example that Arne has been fortunately involved in. It's a major project in the microscopy domain. Um, this project here, uh, there's been a deployment of multiple cryo, um, cryo electron microscopes across Australia. There's at least six in total. Um, currently we've been running a pilot to deploy Globus and help assist in with the microscopy community in Australia to move data from these facilities out to high performance computing facilities. So we see here and this pro project has accelerated the transfer of data from um, particularly from the University of Wollongong who have deployed a cryo EM out to Monash University's massive high performance computing facility. Um, and this is all in production and being utilized on a daily basis for the analysis of um, microscopy sort of samples um, and then processed on supercomputing facilities. A final use case that we've got a driver here in Australia is from the life sciences. Um, this is well known. Um, there's the Elixir sort of initiative uh, more broadly uh, in the European sector and EBI. Um, the Australian Seen has a, an initiative called the BioPlatforms, and underneath it is the BioCommons, which is the informatics sort of side of uh, the, the BioPlatforms initiative. The BioPlatforms operate a, a array of um, life science and analysis facilities across Australia, and their goal is to ensure that they're interconnected and interoperable in between them with similar, similar um, facilities to basically be able to transfer data in between and to high performance computing facilities. 
the life sciences example here, we're just in the, the early parts, but ultimately um, a program that's reasonably well known internationally uh, called Galaxy, which is operated here in Australia by the Biocommons, uh, leveraging Globus to move around their user data. Um, and a recent example saw a trial they ran to move hundreds of tet petabytes, sorry, terabytes of data um, from the Pawsey supercomputing facility in Perth, Western Australia to the Galaxy node, which is based in Melbourne. And previously they were using R-Sync um, and R-Clone to move the data. Um, now they're using Globus and they've been experiencing about a 17%, 17 times speed improvement to move the data. Um, beyond this, they see lots of opportunities and they're welcoming um, collaborations globally um, with their community. Um, and they're looking, seeking opportunities to sort of exchange and move data within the, the life sciences context. So there's a lot of opportunity here in Australia. We're very sort of early in our phase into the deployment and getting the user stories. Um, if I'm lucky to be invited back in a year's time, I hope to have a whole series of other stories where we can detail where Globus has been taken up. But our intention here is to really deploy across the nation. We see there's a lot of value here um, to optimise and leverage the network that we've got in Australia and standardise the, the um, interfaces between facilities that we've got. So Globus in Australia, look, we're busy in the process of deploying and connecting our large facilities. We are at a, very much at our first pass at this point in time. We're keen to reach out globally. Um, uh, part of it is great to, that Australia has it internally, but it's more interesting to also be able to connect at the global stage as well. So with other facilities that are, or other facilities or university researchers or researchers globally that want to connect with Australians, um, it helps us sort of push the, um, the, um, the opportunities to basically deploy Globus um, into different institutes. And it's very much committed to work with Globus uh, in, in deploying this, and we're keen to see a growth over the next six to 12 months. Um, and we're very much driven by the researcher needs to connect tier one, tier two facilities, our research clouds, research collections that we've got, and our shared laboratory spaces that we've got in Australia. Our goal, as, you, as is highlighted here, we, we want it, we, our goal will be basically a highly connected, accessible, reliable access to infrastructure and data within Australia and out to the world so that researchers can focus on their science rather than moving data. And that's the goal behind our program here. I'd like to thank you very much for your time today and um, happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.